Hi, it's Jack Miller. I decided to make this, I wanna make a, a series of tips for real estate investors and rehabbers because we really, we've done over 10,000 loans. I'm guessing five, 7,000 rehab loans we've been involved with either as the lender or partner or borrower or some way, shape or form. We have a lot of history, not just through these times, through bad times as well. Uh, we, we stuck out the recession, God knows how, but we did. Been in bids doing it for 30 years. So you learn a lot along those 30 years. The one common mistake that I see real estate investors make make all the time is they underestimate the cash needs. The work always costs more and it always takes longer. Things just happen in life. Even if you buy a property and it doesn't need work, tenants go bad, roofs break, it's real estate is just a very capital intensive business. So what happens is what, what I find and what we find is that most deals fail, not because the borrowers overpaid, paid another five or 10 grand or five or 10% or whatever the heck it is, but it's because they don't have enough capital to sustain them through challenging times. If you borrow from us and you let us know, we'll advance you that capital 99% of the time. But most of the borrowers don't tell us to be candid with you until it's, until it's too late. So my number one tip for real estate investors, whether it be big projects or small projects, is to make sure you have adequate capital to see you through the bad times. Don't be too optimistic. Be a little negative and be a little pessimistic in the deal because bad stuff always happens in terms of everything takes longer than you think and everything is a lot more money than you think. And this not only happens with big companies. We've uh, we've been involved with deals where we've been involved with a, a publicly traded company, huge company, own buildings. One of the buildings was like 80 or $90 million. Their ultimate downfall, thank God they paid us off first, but was because they didn't have enough capital. We were recently involved with a bankruptcy, a fund out of Philadelphia, same thing. They didn't have enough capital. Keep a lot of capital on hand. However much you think, keep more. Capital is the king and is the best safety, um, the best protection and the best safety when buying real estate. Capital will get you through the bad times. So tip number one is keep a lot of capital. Things always take longer than they think and are always more expensive. I'll publish more tips. Hopefully you'll learn from our experience. And don't forget to like this video and like hit the bell or the button or whatever it is so you're notified of more um, uh, tips and when we post them on YouTube. Take care and have a great day. Call us anyway, anytime, by the way, at 561-221-0900 or look us up at geltfinancial.com on the web. Take care and have a great day.